Students at the University of Utah are tense and uneasy this evening after reports of a sexual assault at a fraternity house last week. A safety warning was issued this morning. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold has details on what's happening now. I feel like on weekends, if I ever try to go out and do anything like hanging out with, like having a social life, I feel like that's definitely more at a risk. That is the feeling Megan Morris, a freshman at the University of Utah, says she got well in her calculus class Monday morning after she received this safety warning in her email. This alert discusses sensitive information pertaining to sexu sexual misconduct. It pertains to a reported sexual assault that took place at the Pi Kappa Alpha house just off campus last Thursday. In the safety warning, it says the victim reported going to the house with some of their friends. It was while they were there, they said they felt sick, nauseous, and as if they had been drugged. They were taken to a local hospital where they reported being sexually assaulted, according to the release. I didn't think that would happen again because I heard about it a couple, what do you say, a couple months ago. That was kind of crazy. I was like, oh, it can't happen again. This comes after this letter went out from fraternity and sorority leaders in April addressing alleged sexual assaults that happened in Greek houses. In that letter, they said they stood by survivors and pledged to improve education for their members. Back in February, the university suspended fraternities and sororities for two weeks after two reports of sexual assault allegedly taking place at fraternity houses. Today, the university putting out this statement in regards to the latest reported incident, saying student affairs, the university public safety department, and others are working with the victim survivor in this case. In that statement, the Dean of Students, Jason Ramirez, says, quote, the university's focus remains creating a safe environment for all students and holding those accountable who infringe and violate the safety of others. Ramirez goes on to say that in the interest of safety, all social events will be suspended for Pi Kappa Alpha until further notice. Other students, like Hannah Tiu, are hoping progress can be made to keep incidents like this from happening again. I think just probably education, um, educating the students and um, creating more resources. A sentiment echoed by Morris. At least trying to get um, Greek life involved and even students involved with like going to seminars and maybe that would help a little bit more. As for the investigation into this case, Salt Lake City Police has taken the lead on the investigation. If you have any information about this reported incident, you're urged to call them at 801-799-3000. Here at the U, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah. In the past three years, the University of Utah has recorded 127 reports of sexual assault. In 2019, there were 35 on-campus incidents and four off-campus, which would include properties such as fraternity houses. 2020 had 30 offenses on campus and six off-campus. 2021, 43 on-campus and eight off-campus reported sexual assaults.